When you're stuck at home, well, you're not alone. It's Grey Mid Best Friends. Grey Mid Best Friends. Ah, Hello, Grey Mid Best Friends, and welcome to episode five. Missing those drive by office combos with your coworkers? We're here to help. I'm Tyler McClure, and with me is my co host, Brian Drake Smith. Thank you. Thank you, Drake. In this episode, we're tapping our virtual kegerator with Cincinnati's own newly crowned creative director to the stars, Mr. Brad Geiger. Wow, what an introduction. Oh, thank you. How are you doing today, Brad? I'm good. I'm good. The sun's out and I'm still in my house. Congratulations on the new promotion, by the way. Thank you. Thank ah. you. Yeah, you seem very excited about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know me. I'm just a ball of excitement every day. That's what I'm known for. What are you up to these days? What are you what are you working on? Uh, as of like today, I woke up and I'm a TikTok star. <laughs> um, I mean, we should be interviewing my wife. She uh, um, what it's like to live with a TikTok star. You know, I, I might have a, a second career here going. Um, so watch out. Do you have a favorite TikTok that you started? I think one of my favorites was when we were driving up the highway on 71. Hey. What? <laughs> I mean, classic dad jokes. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, that's my style. So, yeah, that, doing some uh, projects around the house, um, a la my wall behind me. Looks great. Uh, um, and, you know, painting, doing some oil painting, um, nice. trying to be creative when I can. Yeah. <laughs> the, awesome. the oil paintings, Brad, those are, those are fantastic. Um, oh, thank I didn't know you. You uh, had that talent. I should have assumed, but uh, those are great. What, what brought that out just to start doing those again? Obviously quarantine, but of all the things. Uh, quarantine and yeah, mainly quarantine. Um, I mean, it's been, you know, it's been a few years since I've painted last and we've been moving around a lot and I haven't had the space for it. So finally we got in our new house. So I finally have the space for it. So, um, that was a perfect excuse to, to start again. Brad, getting into some of the, you know, actual interview questions, uh, we would love to hear how you got started in advertising. Um, cause I wasn't smart and I couldn't read, um, but I could draw. So, you know, it was just, I really had no choice. Thanks. Uh, and how has it been directing and managing people from home? I mean, I know you got your hands full always with Mitch, but how's that going? It's great. Cause I can just ignore them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't answer my phone. I don't answer their emails. Um, and you know, you can do like a quick, like, just figure it out, you know, like you're an adult. Uh, no, everybody, everybody under me is, uh, is very professional and adult and they're very easy to work with. So they make my life easy minus Mitch. Uh, how is quarantining with the new misses? Oh, it's great. You know, there's nothing like, uh, you know, get a new house or get married, get a new house. And then. Literally, I haven't made a commute down to the office in our new house um, because we've been in quarantine since. What part of town is the new house in? Mason, the suburbs. Nice. Central. Yeah. Do, do awesome. you have a man cave? A what? Man cave? Yeah. <laughs> a little portion of the house for, for you to hang up all your cool stuff. No, oh. no, I'm not allowed. We were going to, we wanted to ask you more about your painting. Uh, so I just really want to know, like, you said you don't really have a way that you pick it or anything, but like, how do you actually get started? Like, what is your process? Getting started is the hardest part. A blank canvas is so intimidating. And I actually make the process a lot harder than it probably has to be, but it's the only way I can do it. So like, I, I have to like block it out in one color in order for me to paint paint. Mm -hmm. Because if I jump straight into color, it's way too intimidating. Uh, are you interested in ever leading our painting in the office that we do like do you want to be the guy that like teaches us all how to paint I don't, know. I don't know that i could teach anybody because i'm not even quite sure how i do it we'll, we'll take that as a yes um <laughs> that's, that's great uh, 
just really curious, so like to inspire your painting, what are you watching, reading, listening to? What are your, what are your echoes right now other than The Last Dance? I'd say they, uh, the biggest thing that inspires my paintings are the real housewives of, uh, of New York City. Um, that, really, that really gets my creativity going. I'm, I mean, I have to admit, and I probably would have worn the shirt if the, the typeface hadn't worn down enough that you can't read it. Um, I have a shirt that says real men watch Bravo, uh, but none of that drives my paintings. I don't know where I get, my paintings are purely like anything that brings me joy. Like I want to paint. Uh, we're going to pause now for a quick word from our sponsors, and then we'll get you right back to Brad. Gray Mid Best Friends is proudly sponsored by Paintin' Pals, led by famed artist Brad Geiger. Critic Mitch Beckman quotes, eh, I could do better. What a sponsor. Ugh, we're back. So we've reached the point in the show where it is time for Gray Mid Best Friends Hot Seat. We ask you fast questions and you answer as fast as we ask them. Brad, what was the last thing you Googled? I Googled? Yes. Um, Steve Fader's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, man. Sorry, Steve. I mean, who knew Steve Fader had this daughter, like, selling jewelry out in L.A., and he, like, names it just casually, like, oh, yeah. Moving on. Are you a transition lens guy or sunglasses? Oh, sunglasses all the way. No offense, John Stickway, but transitions. Well, I, I probably can't say that because I'm technically on the brand. Transitions are great. Brad, are you a dog person or a cat person? Uh, dog all the way. I don't even know why I hesitated. Have you considered that your new house is uh, more than likely haunted? Um, probably, absolutely, yeah. Uh, what's your favorite music genre? Um, hardcore rap. Nice. And uh, your go-to karaoke song? Uh, Vanessa Carlton, A Thousand Miles. I like to play the piano. Brad, what is your drink of choice, alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Uh, alcoholic. Well, yes, but what is your what is your alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was either or. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I mean, that's a simple answer, guys. Moving on, uh, Brad. How long does it take to make your goatee perfect? Although you have a beard now. Yeah, you know, I've been mixing it up. My wife uh, likes the beard better than anything else because it covers most of my face. Uh, Brad, camo or flannel? I mean, do I need to answer that? I mean, my brand is camo. It's Anybody true. that wears camo is wearing my brand. Follow up question on that. How do you find your camo shirts in your closet if they blend in? Uh, <laughs> how do, that's a, that's a good question. I, <laughs> I, I can't answer that. i you know, I just, it happens. Uh, are you a Netflix guy or a Hulu guy? Uh, Netflix. I've never watched Hulu. So are you scared of murder hornets? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if they make it here, I'm a highly allergic to bees. So if the murder hornet's here, I'm quarantining myself. Uh, what's your junk food guilty pleasure? Uh, dark chocolate. So would you consider your body a temple? Not at the moment. And uh, which Lachey brother are you? Um, Nick, for sure, because, I mean, who knows any of the other ones? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But taller and better Brian, looking. What do you want to say to your coworkers at Gray Midwest? Oh, man. Um, hang in there. Um, you guys will get to see me in person soon, um, so don't worry. Um and just, I want to give a shout out to, to Janet, um, that I know you miss me the most. Um, and I miss, uh, seeing like kind of the top of your head, walk past the cubicles. Brad, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule, uh, to come on and talk with us today. We very much appreciate it. Um, that's going to be the end of our show. Thank you. You've all been an amazing audience. Very quiet. And we're going to turn things over to our good friend, John Stickway. Good night, Barker. When you're stuck at home, well, you're not alone. It's Gray Mid Best Friends. Gray Mid Best 
friends.